Hello to everyone, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my channel, Lively Ladies. So today's workout, we are going to do a 20 minute power workout or power walk. And we don't need any equipment, so it's all body weight today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move you through each move at a fairly fast pace. You can pause the video and take a break at any stage if you need it, because I'm not using our little gym boss timer today. So just from one to the other. If you're getting stuck on any of the moves, just take it back here to a basic march, or you're just if you're feeling fatigued and you just need a little break, just take it back to this move here. Now, I want to get, get going now with our warm up, get our bodies warm. So if you join in with me now, start marching, make sure that you have everything that you need for your workout. So I always like to have a chair handy in case you need it for any balance moves, and some water if you need it, and a towel, okay. Let's get going. Let's pump those arms by our side. I'm just moving off the spot, forward and back. I'm gonna get nice and warm, and then we'll get going with today's workout. Okay, well done. Now really get those arms moving. Let's get the air uh, into the lungs as well. So big deep breaths. Breathe it all in, breathe it all out. Good work. Okay, let's hold it here on the spot. Let's get that air in there, really exaggerating each move here with the arms. Nice and big over your head and down to your legs. Now, if you can't bring your arms up above your head, if you have a shoulder impingement or any problems there, just bring it up as far as you can, okay? And reach up and down. Don't forget those legs, keep those going as well. Just give me two more here. And last one, okay. Now let's just do a step touch. Now I'm making my move big, just to really get the heart rate up and get warmer quicker, all right? But you can make your move smaller and you can hold onto a wall or a door if you need assistance. Okay, now I'm driving my elbows back behind me and I'm very gently squeezing the muscles between my shoulder blades, okay. That's it, now I'm bending my knees a little bit more now. That's bringing in a little more quad and glute action there. Good, well done. Engage your core now. So what I mean by that is you pull your belly button in to your spine, but you don't hold your breath, all right? So it's important that you learn that technique. Engaging, but not holding your breath. Keep breathing. We need that oxygen to keep those muscles flowing for the whole of our workout, good. Let's switch up the arms. Crisscross in front. That's it, getting the sh those shoulders nice and warm, your upper back. Abs are switching on now once those arms start to move. Good. Well done, 10 more seconds. Well done. Keep going, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now let's go back to our march. Now this is our power march, our power walk. Okay, so we are gonna make our moves nice and big. We're gonna come back to this at intervals throughout the workout, and we'll increase the um, speed of the move as we go through, but if you want to stay at a slow pace, you do that yourself. Now I'm gonna press the timer here now. Okay, so let's get going now. Really pump those arms, bring my knees up. That's it. If you can bring your knees up as high as your waist, that's great, you go for that. If you can't, keep them down here nice and low. If you, if you can speed up your legs, bring up the pace a little bit, go for that. Okay, well done. Give me 10 more seconds and then we are gonna march the legs out wide, then back in narrow. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. So out wide, good, and in narrow. Can you get your hips down low? That's it, and up again. Now, if you can't, just stay up high like this, and in, all right? Anyone else just wants a little bit more intensity? Get down low, good. Can you stay down low, in and out? Really start to feel the legs working. Good work, that's it. Now hold them out wide, come up tall, and then we're just going to tap out the floor. Tap, tap, now bring in some arms, punch, punch. That's it, good. Each move is just gonna flow one into the other today, okay? We're not going to um, have too much rest, but 20 minutes, it's a short enough workout, so keep going, get that heart rate up. Now, punch, punch, that's it. Bring the arm across your body there, front, and punch, 
and punch. Good. That's it. Now nice and strong with your biceps there. Tucking the elbow to your waist. Abs are in tight. Good. Four, three. We're going to punch the ceiling. Two, one. Again, up. Up a little higher this time. And feel the muscles in around your shoulders right down to your waist. Working hard here. Good. Abs are in tight to protect the lower back. Good. Four seconds. Three. We're going to march it out again. Two, one. Back to power march. That's it. Now, come on. Big legs for me. Good. Again, you work at your own pace here now. Even if I say big legs, faster legs, bring up the intensity. You don't, don't get frightened if you hear me saying that. Just take it at your own pace, okay? That's it. Pump those arms. Abs are tight. Good. I'll keep reminding you to pull your belly button in to protect your lower back. That's it. Good. Because we, we do forget. Now, what we're going to do next is a hamstring ladder. We're going to go down the ladder. So what we're going to do is 16. So that's eight a leg hamstring curl then 12, then eight, and then four. Now in between them all, we're going to come back to this power march. Okay, so let's get ready for that. Five, four, three, get ready to curl the leg, two, and one. Now 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, get ready to march, three, two, and one. Okay, so power march or power walk. Good. Well done. Shoulders are nice and tall, open wide and away from the earlobes. That's it. Good. Good posture. Well done. Now get ready for the 12. Okay, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. So 12, 11, 10, nine. You can move off the spot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one march it out okay power walk it that's it good can you go a bit faster that's it you can even jog it out if you like okay so you can take up the intensity the pace yourself good let's go for eight four three two and one okay curl it eight seven six five four three two and one okay well done, we're going down that ladder. Next, we just have four to do. Okay, get ready. Four, three, two, and one. And four, three, two, and one. And march it out. Good work, well done. So we got some hamstring action there. Good, especially if you're getting the heel up to your bum. Okay, waking up the back of the legs. Well done. Now, next move, we're going to just kick our leg up in the air and clap underneath now if this is too hard for you i do understand this requires a lot of hamstring flexibility what you can do is just tap out your knee bend your knee more and just tap out your leg if you don't have the flexibility in the upper half as well okay for anyone else kick kick that's it you feel those hamstrings working this is a great dynamic stretch here for them back of your thigh well done keep your spine straight though i know it's there is a big tendency to lean forward at the waist, but I want you to engage your abdominals, pull your belly button in, and keep your spine tall. Good. Can I have six more? Good. Five. We're going to head into an air squat. Four, three, two, and one. Now open up the legs, abs tight. Put your fingers or your thumbs under your chin. Good. And up and down. Oh, my heart rate's coming up. Missing that rest today. <laughs> Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Now an air or speed squat, as it suggests, is quite fast. But again, you don't have to do what I'm doing here. You can slow down and make your squat smaller, okay? Like this, you're still getting some action going there. You get the heart rate up too. Good. And you can see my thumbs are just gently placed under my chin to encourage me to keep my chest upright. Good, now up and down. 10 more, I'm gonna walk it out. Do you feel those legs working? Yeah, I sure do. Well done. So this will really strengthen the legs, which will increase your endurance for your walks. So it's all good. Three more, two, and one. Okay. Ooh, heart rate's high. Big deep breaths. It's amazing how the intensity comes up when you take that rest out. But you can use the power walk even as a rest. Okay, you can go slower. All right, but if you want to, speed it up. Good work. Now we've got our ski walks coming next. 
one leg only okay get ready for that for six and a half minutes in four three two and one so step back that's it step back don't press your heel into the floor okay just step your toe back behind you because you only uh, irritate your achilles tendon or your achilles achilles heel all right so watch that pull the arms back good go faster if you can breathe let me hear you breathe good 10 more nine change your legs now eight seven get ready six five four three two and one do you feel that standing leg yeah good those little stabilizers in the leg working hard there for you good work pull back that's it keep that heel up ten nine eight we're gonna take it back to a walk seven six five four three two get ready to power walk it okay whoa that was tough on those legs big deep breaths now if this pace is too fast for you guys you can pause the video march around the room don't sit down because i want you to keep your heart rate elevated because that's how we burn our calories elevated heart rate brings us our calorie burn okay good work right ready for some low jacks okay so you know a regular jack stick to this if you want to okay we've done that a lot and now low jack sit your hips back sit into your little chair lift lift stay down low this is a low low jumping jack <laughs> low impact and you're down low again go back to a regular jack if this is too much for you but if you can even do 10 reps of this you are going to build up amazing strength in your legs and your bum good and that will make your walking so much easier for you you'll be able to go for longer you'll be increasing your endurance good keep your chest up again put the thumbs underneath your chin to encourage you to keep your chest upright well done five four three two one do you need a break yep come on up walk it out take it back to the basic moves if your muscles are feeling jaded okay also with fitness comes quicker recovery time all right so the more of these you do the more you push yourself in your workouts you're going to recover much faster your heart rate will come down quicker and your muscles will recover quicker too so it's all good with fitness all good things come to you all right now we're going to do a knee raise step back so you join in when you're ready okay knee raise step back same leg i'm just staying on the same leg here sometimes we switch it up and get the boat legs working at the same time but just for a bit of variety staying on the same leg tapping out my knee and um, you can do some curls here if you want bicep curls get ready to switch over good four three two and one change legs that's it leave out the arms till you get the leg down and again that standing leg is where you'll feel it more than anything but you will feel it in the hip flexor on the leg that's moving okay you're really working those hip flexors hard hitting them hard today good give me 10 more nine curl it if you can eight seven lost my balance there sorry five four three two march it out okay good work well done 10 minutes gone Whew. well done you can move off the spot here you don't have to stay rooted to one spot if you have the space use it up okay let's power march it or power walk it good get ready for can you remember what's next yeah the legs out wide Do you remember the sequence with the punches three two and one out wide take it in stay upright if you have to good i'm going to push today i'm going to get my bottom down low it's a funny looking move not something you would do outside but you will it's amazing the, the extra work you get at home more variety you bring into your workouts when you work out at home in the privacy of your own home good now come up tall stay out wide and tap and tap punch across your body good now i want a nice straight torso no bending at the waist how are we going to do that first of all we have to be conscious about our position our body position and then we have to engage that core okay 
So you have to really make sure you're tuned in to what, where your body is in space. Good, now punch, 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 and punch. That's it, good. Well done, we're working those biceps hard today. Yeah. Well done, good. Four, three, let's go up to the ceiling, two, and one, and reach, and reach. Oh, I really feel those abs working hard, those abdominals, yeah. Good, give me four, three, back to our power walk, two, and one. Okay, walk it out. Whew. Can you feel your heart rate? Put your finger on your, uh, your neck there. Just a gent, don't press in too hard, or you, you, you will lose the sensation of the pulse. Just a very, very gentle touch there with your fingertips. Yeah, I can feel it's beating fast. Okay, march it out. Good, again, shoulders back and down. They're not all shrugged up, to, uh, up into the neck or the earlobes. Good, relax your body. Whew, good work, good work. Now, hamstring curls, I was gonna say good curls there. <laughs> hamstring curls are next. 16, 12, eight and four, okay, with marches in between. Let's get ready, four, three, two and one. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, kick your bum, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, power walk it, that's it, you can bring in some arms to this power walk, okay, that's it, it's optional, you can just run them by your side if you like, let's get ready for 12, 4, 3, 2, and go, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and power walk it. Good work, you're looking great. Okay, you're finding this round a bit easier? Yeah, you know what's coming up. Okay, eight reps, 4, 3, 2, and go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, it's getting shorter. Well done. I like doing ladders because mentally it gets easier because the numbers are going down lower. Okay, down to four now. Four, three, two, and go. That's it. Four, three, two, and walk it out. Well done. Good work. Okay, now we are going to clap. Do you remember this? Okay, take that modified version if you have to. Bend the knee, just tap out the knee. Find what works for you. That's it, good. There's options for everyone here. Good, kick and kick. Now, if you're bending too much at the waist, don't bring your leg up so high. Like you can even have a straight leg kicking out, but keep your uh, kicks low if you're bending too much at the waist, okay? That's it. Well done, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six. Remember your air or speed squat, that's next. Four, three, two, one. Okay, air squat. Thumbs under the chin, chest is high. Knees track out over the shoes, weight into the feet. Good, that's it. Squeeze your glutes on the way up, but don't arch your back. So none of this, okay, none of that. All right, we don't want any of that. Straight spine here. Straighten your spine here, okay? Sit back, well done. Good, keep going. We're gonna take it back to a power march in about 10 reps. Slow it down if I'm going too fast. You slow it down. Good, five and four, three. Squeeze your glutes even with the fast ones. Last one, okay. They really get that heart rate up. They are a big calorie burner. If you can get those in every day of the week. Wow, you'll be burning some serious energy. Okay, march it out. Get ready, ski walks, one leg only. I'm gonna start on the left this time. Just so I'm not always dominating on one side. Four, three, two, legs only. That's it. Back and forth, and then you can get the arms. Sorry, I brought it a little bit too soon there. Pull back, good. Work the posture muscles, any chance you get. Pull back, now pull back with meaning. That's it. Squeeze, release slightly. That's it, good work. Two, five, four, change legs now. Three, two, other leg, leg first. That's it, check your posture, posture check. Are you bending too far at the waist? 
Have you switched off your abs? Come on, switch them back on. Pull the belly button to the spine. Good. That's it. Five, four. Take it back to a walk. Three, two, and one. Got to keep an eye on the time. Having such fun here. I'm actually forgetting all about the time. We're coming up to 17 minutes. Okay, remember the low jacks? Did you try that really low, low one? All right, I'm going to go again. Okay, down. That's it. Kick out. Okay, now I'm really switching on my tummy muscles here. And squeeze my glutes. Squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. Squeeze. And squeeze. Good. Whew. You can't get too many of these out. These tiny little muscles complain very quickly. Good. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Okay. Quick march. Let's get into that knee raise step back. Join me when you're done. Good. Well done. If you want to leave out the arms, we'll just go faster. Leave out the bicep curl and bring up your pace here. You're going to get more cardio by doing that. But you can slow it down and bring in some arms, bring in some weights even if you like. Just because I say no equipment doesn't mean you can't use your own, your own dumbbells if you have any or kettlebell. Good. Well done. Posture check again. We up nice and tall. Yeah. Four. Let's change legs. Three, two, and one. Okay. Abs in. That's it. Good. Two minutes to go. Can you hang in? Come on. Keep going. That's it. Step it back. Step it back. Well done. God, keep pushing. Five seconds. Four, three, two, march it out. Okay, well done. Coming up to 18 and a half minutes. That's it. You can push the arms back here with meaning. Get those uh, triceps worked. That's it. So what I'm doing here is I actually uh, tighten up the muscle at the back and I can actually feel the muscle contracting as the arm goes back behind me. Okay, let's take it up and do a bigger move now. Nearly just a little over a minute left. So we're going to really work hard now, last minute. Chest is high, posture is tall, air is coming in to allow me to finish out my workout. That's it, good. Let's take it into some speed squats. Let's get that heart rate up before we leave. Good. That's it. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze. Squeeze. I'm just going to do a, a combination of this and some walking just before the minute is up. Good. Keep going. Give me five seconds. Well done. Okay. Power walk it. Woo. Big deep breaths for me. 30 seconds left. Can you do it? Come on, hang in, hang in. Good. Squat and squeeze. Squat and squeeze your glutes. Good. Keep your chest upright. Come on, you're looking great. You're getting those squats down now for me. That's it. You'll have the strongest legs, the strongest glutes. Good. Well done. Three more. Two. Just take it back to a march for the last few seconds. That's it. Come on, 10 seconds. Faster if you can. Keep going, you're just there. Five, four, three, two, and time. Well done, well done, okay. That was great, 20 minutes down. Oh, don't stop, keep going. Let's bring that heart rate back down. That was a great workout. Lovely and toasty now. Actually feeling very energized and feel like I could do that all over again. And if you can, why not? If you have the time, you have the energy. That's the one thing I love about exercise. You start off feeling sluggish, not sure you really want to do it today. And then after something as little as 10, 15 minutes, you're raring to go and you don't want to stop then. Okay, well done. All right, let's just step it back. Again, I'm just doing like, make the move small now because I want to bring your heart rate down, but gradually. Okay, that's good. Whew, well done. That was a great, great workout today. So you should do that if you're getting stronger. Maybe leave out the rest. See if you can go continuously from one exercise to the other. All right, good work. Now, 
Okay, my heart rate has come down a good bit, but if yours hasn't, just keep marching for a few seconds. I'm just going to stretch out my hamstrings here. All right, so to keep your chest high. Well done. I'm just lifting my uh, toe off the ground here and I'm engaging my shoulder blades. So I'm gently squeezing my shoulder blades together. Okay, change over. And again, I'm going through this very quickly. Ideally, you should spend about 15 minutes cooling down, 10 to 15 minutes and maybe about 30 seconds um, per stretch, working up to about a minute. So as you can imagine, that would make this, these videos very long. So what I have done is I've made a dedicated cool down video and it's on my channel there if you want to browse around and have a look for it. It's 30 minutes long, so there's a lot. There's a lot. Let's come on up and stretch. There's a lot involved in that video. There's a lot of mobility moves that will strengthen certain areas of the body. A lot of stretches. Okay, reach up. Well done, right up to the ceiling, stretch out your full body. And this is another stretch. If you can get to the floor, this is a lovely stretch to do lying down. Okay, reaching your hands right up over your head and pointing your toes away. That's just something that's a bit difficult to do when you are standing up. But if you're lying on the floor, point your toes away. Okay, guys, I just want to say a big thank you for joining me today. It's great having you on board here, working out with me. And I will see you back here again in another video very soon. Bye-bye.